My biggest problem with the Surface Pro when I first bought it was that it didn't include wind tab drivers for uh, using the pressure sensitive stylus with most graphics programs. Uh, you know, some of them supported the new ink APIs that the Surface has, but most of them used the older WinTab uh, APIs. But now, the Surface Pro does have WinTab drivers, and uh, now you have pressure sensitive stylus drawing capabilities in almost all graphics programs. So, this is Adam Lane from PocketNow.com, and I'm going to show you how it works. Let's check it out. All right, first off, let's go to the settings. After you install the new drivers from uh, Wacom, there's a new pen tablet properties control panel. And this is where we can control some different things about the stylus. You can turn on the click sound. We can hear it now. You can customize what the button does, some tip feel, eraser feel, double click distance, here's your advanced. Uh, you can you know, uh, do a hover click for the button or click and tap and you can calibrate it, which is really nice, makes it much more accurate. And you can add a pop-up menu, which you can choose as one of the options in your custom button. And you see it's made by uh, Wacom there. So that's the new uh, pen tablet properties. Pretty nice to have. And let's check out Photoshop. So here we are, and here's the brush panel. And you can see shape dynamics. I can choose pen pressure now that's not grayed out anymore because we have wind tab drivers yay so you see the preview of the brush down there and we can go and pressure is light and then it gets dark very nicely done let's try a couple other brushes now here's the little icon that's going to show uh, the tilt sensitivity but the uh, Surface Pro doesn't support tilt uh, recognition within the digitizer, so that's kind of useless. You really need a more expensive uh, Wacom tablet to have that support. How about one of these? Very nice. Really smooth, really quick. All right, let's try a different program. So this is Painter 12. I've been using this back in, uh, back when it was version four in the 90s. And this is a very, very complicated uh, natural media simulation program. So we have all sorts of brushes. And you can see how they work here. If I go to the preferences, there's a brush tracking option, and we can see it supports pressure, and it changes some of our settings according to how we uh, track the brush in it within the screen. So let's choose a couple. Whoops. And you can see pressure. Very, very nice. So this is going to be great with the Surface Pro. All right, one more. How about some vector illustration, you say? Sure, here's Illustrator CS6. I'm going to double click brush and I'm going to make it have some size variation. How much should I do? Make it 15 and we'll give it a variation of 7. And right here I can choose pressure. And let's get a brush. And let's change my color. Like that. And there you go. Let's choose a different brush. Over here in the brushes uh, library, we have some other brushes, multiple brush libraries. Let's choose one of these. Okay. 
and you can see how the pressure affects your brush, brush strokes. There's some bristle brushes. And you see you have a lot of control over the thickness of the stroke as you're moving. So there's a look at a few uh, professional graphics programs running on the Surface Pro with your nice uh, pressure sensitive stylus support. It's a great feature, really smooth. Um, this could be a digital artist's dream tablet. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up and that's it for now.